Hi, I'm Ethan, I love muzzleloading. Today I'm testing out my CVA Acura LR V2 on this 100 yard target. So as I walk back to my shooting bench here, I wanna talk about a couple things. First, this is a 100 yard target. I'm shooting it at 100 yards from a bench. Just kind of taking the first shots with the CVA Acura to see how it can do and start kind of the load development process. To do that, last night I pre-measured several Blackhorn 209 charges, 60, 70, and 80 grains by weight, not by volume. When it comes to Blackhorn 209, by measuring it by its weight, we're gonna get a more accurate reading on every shot. So you can see the target's getting a little, little small now. My Acura is set up with a three to nine power Vortex scope. The first bullet I'm testing is the Thor Bullets 247 grain. This is no Sabo, this is sized to my barrel, which is pretty neat. I like that there's no plastic going down range and you're getting a full bore seal with these bullets, something I'm kind of excited about. It's a trend we're really starting to see come into muzzle loading now where we're getting away from the patches and the sabos or sabots in the modern bullets and just going to full bore sized bullets. The custom and match competitors have been doing this now for years and we're starting to see it hit the manufacturing scale, kind of changing up how we hunt and how we shoot with the mass produced muzzleloaders. When it comes to any muzzleloader, when you take it to the range for the first time, especially if it's been in storage for a while or it's your first time with this muzzleloader, either new or used, what you wanna do is pop a cap or prime the pan and just check that the bore is clean. So with this Acura, we're gonna break open the action here of a modern shotgun primer, 209 primer. I'm pressing it into the Blackhorn breech plug that I've installed here. We're gonna snap the action shut like that. Put on my hearing protection here. And as always, even before we've primed this, we wanna make sure that we're cautious about where this muzzle is pointing. That's just general firearm safety and it's really important with muzzle loaders. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna point the muzzle downward at a leaf and um, that's going to cause a flush of air to come through. I'm certain that this barrel is clean, but this would make sure that we're not sending any debris or anything unsafe downrange and that the bore in the barrel is not blocked in any way. Okay, so we're clean. We're ready to load up our first powder charge and our first bullet and see how this thing shoots. Before we do that though, uh, we wanna make sure that we've cleaned the primer out of our breech here. So we're gonna crack it back open. It's nice that action kind of pushes that primer out. And you can see there, there's our little pin mark on our primer. We can cast this to the side and kind of the range trash and uh, keep moving. So to start, I'm gonna be starting with three shots of 70 grains of Blackhorn 209 with the 247 grain Thor bullets. So I've got my Thor bullet here, I'm setting to the side. I've got my powder charge here. You'll notice these are the only pieces that I have on my bench right now, other than my short starter and my ramrod. This makes sure that I don't get mixed up in the powder bullet combination. I'm not double loading. I have a clean work surface that I can keep track of what I'm doing in a safe manner. Down the barrel, giving us a couple taps here, make sure we have everything out. Gotta love a short starter. That goes down nice and easy. I mean, there's no plastic there. There's no lube or anything. And I'm using just my standard CVA ramrod here. Just making sure that we're down in there. So now our muzzle loader is loaded. We're gonna treat it as a loaded firearm. We don't have the primer in yet, so it can't go off but we still wanna practice safe measures here when we're shooting and handling our muzzle loaders. I'm gonna take this around to the bench, get situated and take our first shot. So this Acura is ready to go. The hammer is not back yet. So the trigger is not engaged. We could pull the trigger right now, it would not go off. The hammer has not been cocked. Just like with a percussion side lock muzzle loader, we have to cock this hammer before we can shoot. Whew. So for our first shot, we shot real low, really, off the paper. So I'm gonna shoot a couple more times, make sure that I have that group established there before I touch the scope at all. This way I'm not chasing the shot, <laughs> you know, 10 or 15 times. I can shoot a group, adjust, and then shoot again and see how we're doing. 
So that first shot, you know, 70 grains of blackhorn, it's a little more jump than I was expecting. From, but from what I see out of the match shooters and the heavy hitters really shooting the full 120 grains by volume, 84 grains by weight charge, I see now why those muzzles and barrels are really jumping in competition. Looks like we're still low, not a super tight group there. So we're gonna take our third shot and see how we're looking. Okay, let's go take a look at that group. Before we do though, we're gonna set our muzzle up in a safe position, not going down range after we deprime it. Not that this primer is, you know, in any danger to us now, it can't go off, but you know, just a good habit to get into. Walking up to our target here. This is our 100 yard target. <laughs> um, this is the point where I was aiming at here. And our first three shots with our Thor bullets are right down here. So really not a bad group. Get my hand in there. You can kind of see in comparison to my hand, they all fit inside my palm. Not bad for first shots out of this hunting rifle here. If we translate these up, you know, we're in the 10 and the X ring. This one over here is probably in the nine. Overall, not a bad first three shots with this. At least I'm on the paper, I'm on the target on the cardboard here, so I kind of know what to do now. We're gonna make a couple adjustments here with our scope, try to bring it up quite a bit, <laughs> and, uh, and we'll take a couple more shots. When it comes to muzzle loaders, it's important to remember that a lot of the accuracy, it does rely on the rifle. I'm not gonna say you can go out and win a bunch of aggregates with a junky rifle, but when it comes to something like this, when I know I've got a fairly, you know, I've got a group. Um, I know now that this 70 grains, I can go up and I can go down when it comes to the powder charge. And that can really tighten or loosen that group quite a bit. So now once I get centered on the target, it's gonna be up to me to figure out how many grains of powder, again, measuring by weight, this gun's gonna like, so I can just keep cutting out that X-ring. In between tests like this, I'm gonna run some hops number nine down the muzzle just to make sure that we're cleaned up and then I'll run a, I'll run a wet patch down and then I'll run a dry patch down just to make sure that we're clean. Shooting a match, a lot of guys will go through and clean after every shot, wet patch, dry patch. Everybody kind of has their own thing for them. Who doggy, glad I'm cleaning now. It can be a little frustrating if you're just starting with a muzzle loader and going through this process. None of this stuff is free and it can feel like you're kind of wasting money and supplies. But, you know, if you really want to use your muzzleloader to its fullest potential and really any, any firearm, um, you want to go through this process. A muzzleloader is just a little bit more personal a lot of the time than a lot of other modern firearms. Even this modern muzzleloader is more cantankerous. It's more personal um, than a center fire rifle would be. Okay. So I'm gonna put in my hearing protection, clean off my bench, and we're ready to go. Between shots, I've adjusted the scope up to see if we can get up closer to that X-ring. So we're almost into the black now, straight down from the X-ring, straight up from our previous three shots. I'm going to raise the scope a little more, take one more shot, and we'll see how we're looking. I mean, I'm not super clean, you can see there. I'm clean enough to finish out a few more shots though. If I was going to put this away for the season and pull it out, you know, next August after I've done my deer hunting for the year, I would want this to be much cleaner. But uh, I'm coming back out after I measure some more charges, so I'm not too worried. Something I found after cleaning this a few times is you want to pull this breech plug out and take a look at it. Make sure there's no moisture hiding in there. That's going to mess with your gonna mess with your charge, because if this is really damp in here, your primer's not gonna go off. It's gonna be a real pain in the butt. Putting the breech plug back in, we'll load up our last two charges here, one at a time, of course, and see how we go. This is our last shot with our Thor bullets, 247 grains at 100 yards. So walking out to the target here, I have a total of 12 shots downrange here with the CVA Acura LRV2. 
Um, all shooting the 247 grain Thor bullets for this video. I'm really pleased with the performance of everything except for, I think kind of myself, I need to work on my uh, bench rest shooting practice here and get a little better, get a little more solid with what I'm shooting. But overall, I'm very pleased with the rifle, with the powder, with the bullets. I think the 80 grain charge, it kind of kicks, you know, it, it's got a thumping charge there. And that's not something to shake a stick at. It's something to kind of keep in mind as you're shooting because you're going to start to feel your body anticipating that kick. And, you know, not that it hurts, but your body is saying like, hey, you know, let's, let's cool it on that stuff, can we? And that's just something you want to be aware of working up a load like this is the longer that you shoot, you're going to get more used to that, but there's kind of going to be an intermediary period where your body's going to be trying to resist that. And you got to stay, keep your head in the game, keep your eyes fixed on that target and just squeezing the trigger just to make sure you have an accurate shot every time. So here's our target, 100 yards, CVA Acura LRV2, 80 grains of Blackhorn 209, a few shots with the 70. These are the 247 grain Thor bullets that we're using. So our first shots we had were down here. This is our first three shots at 70 grains, really kind of a warm up period for the day. Our last shot at 70 was this guy here. And then we jumped up into the 80 and got this nice group. You can see there's my hand. It's kind of give you a scale of that group. If this was all just up and to the right a little bit here, we'd have a nice looking target here for score. When we're thinking about groups for hunting or silhouette matches or something, we can still adjust that. But really all of these shots would fit very nicely onto our chicken silhouette here. This is from the bench. It's something to keep in mind. But for a first target out with this Acura, you know, really first experimenting with the charge and with the bullets, I'm pretty pleased. If you like this video and wanna see more, be sure to check out some of the other muzzleloading videos that we have. Leave a comment or a like if you like this kind of video. I know the modern stuff is a little bit different than what we're used to here at I Love Muzzleloading, but I'm excited to continue exploring this and continue to tighten up the groups like this one here. In our next video, we're gonna do a similar test with our power belts. We have our 295 grain power belt bullets. We're gonna put them out on 100 yards here and see what the group looks like right out the box. I'm Ethan, I love muzzleloading. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna learn more about this or any other kind of muzzleloading, please visit ilovemuzzleloading.com. Thanks so much for watching.